浴びちゃった最初に言っておくこれはかなーり強い強いものに強い力言っておくかなり強いぜ極めつけのベガー反対に始まるさあアクションゼロ強気心強気願い勝ちまるときむてきになる弱いしようベガー反対に食い出さアクションゼロI'll dish some background info on this guy. Originally, Xeronos had two forms, Altair and Vega. However, at a certain point,、uh, he uses the red Xeronos card and his own memories as a catalyst to transform into Zero form. Therefore,、uh, Altair forms green armor, begins to rust, and he becomes this guy.、Uh, he can be becomes physically stronger, and all of his abilities have increased. So, therefore, this is his. Ultimate form. The volume 45 packaging is pretty nice. You have this nice silver reflective text all over with steampunky designs. On the inside, you have this silver reflective background. And despite the figures being held together with twist eyes, it's okay for what you're getting. On the back, you have these nice promotional images of both Kamen Rider Deno liner form and Zero Nose Zero form. You also get images of them holding accessories and the accessories themselves. And at the very bottom, you have some useless information for North Americans. And once you head over to the barcode, you find out that this set retails for 6,000 yen. Now that Xeronos is out of the box, let's take a look at some of the details found on him. He has this nice rusty red brown color found all over the body. And going along from that, he has this dull antique looking gold found on. The chest, the shoulders, even the head. The train track design falls from the back to the front in like a zipper type of dealy. e The shoulders, arms, and chest have this nice little ancient panel line thing going on, and I'm really, really liking how it turned out. From what I can tell, there are no QC problems or paint blemishes. The paint is absolutely flawless. Taking a look at z e r o n o s e s head, he looks Fierce. And he kind of reminds me of Blade King Form's head. z e r o n o s has these nice red compound eyes. He's even got translucent yellow parts on his gold horns. Really, really nice, as well as that silver detail found on them. And before I forget, he's got that green jewel on his forehead. Going along from that ancient antique y look, he's got brass colored die cast bracelets. Both are shaped differently on both sides. The other side has more of a triangular shape attached to it. It really, really looks nice though. And now we have the plastic plate that is known as z e r o n o s e s belt. I'm really surprised at how well detailed the belt is. It's got this nice dark silver that runs all the way around the belt. And the Zero Gasher holsters have these nice blue panel lines found on them. And here we have the Zero Nose card holder for any business he needs to attend to. Overall, really, really awesome belt. If you're already familiar with the Deno SICs, then these legs won't surprise you. The shin guards are always nice, though. It's got this nice, rusty, brown red metallic color on it. It's also die cast, as well as this brass ring anklet found at the ankle. Compared to liner form, z e r o n o s e s arm articulation is almost completely different. His shoulder armor has this rotating hinge cover thing, which is most likely meant for covering up any exposed gaps when the arms are in different positions. The arm is on a ball joint, so it can swivel like this. It can go up about this far, but hindered by the shoulder armor. It can go a full 360 all the way around. 
and it's got this weird bicep -y rotation movement. Uh, it's nice. <laughs> and what's really nice is that the shoulders are double jointed, so they can bend at two points and you get that human-esque feel about it. Oh yeah. The hands are connected to the arms by a peg, so they can rotate at full 360. To swap hands, you just pop them off, and they also have a hinge attached to them, so you can adjust the hands in any which way you want. Xernos' head is a lot better than Deno's. It can go down about this far, and about this far up. It's got a ball joint at the upper part of the neck and the lower part of the neck. The head can spin off full 360, and can finally pull off the quagmire slash chicken head. Xernos' waist articulation is pretty freaking bad. It can only bend down about that far, only at one point, bend up about that far, spin that much, spin that much, and can bob to each respective side. An interesting thing about the chest armor is that it can be popped off, as well as the back part of the armor. This is reminiscent of the original Xeranos release in which Altair form can be transformed into Vega form. Useless here. The Xeranos belt has some articulation as well. The Zero Gasher holsters can move up about this far and can spin a full 360. They're also connected by a peg, so it's really easy to take off. On the left holster, you have a card holder for Xeranos' cards. The best thing about it is that it can open up and hold a red Xeranos card. The circle on the belt can also spin around and move. You just have to use your thumb to spin it. But I think you guys would get the gist of what it would look like. The leg articulation is... eh, okay. The leg can go up about this far and it can go back about this far, though off at an angle because of the butt. For the thighs, you get some pretty nice in and out movement. In and out, in and out. The Deno series legs are reused with Xeranos, so the thigh armor can flip down, and you can remove the rusty red metallic piece from it. This feature is only really used with the Deno sword form with Momotaro set, so you don't really need to open these up ever again. The knees are double jointed, so they bend at two points. Really, really nice for that human-esque look. The ankles are really bad in my opinion. You can't really move them that much. They can only go up about that far, down about that far. Though they can move side to side. A little bit more force, it can go a bit more. But the best part of it all is the toe bend. Yeah. Regarding the red Xeranos card I mentioned earlier, it can fit into both sides of the belt, but it can get stuck in there a lot. I choose not to stick it in there because it's a small piece of plastic and it's thin, so I fear actually breaking it. Out of the box, Xeranos comes with two clenched fists, but you also get two open splayed hands! A finger that points at you hand! This hand is mostly used when Xeranos uses his catchphrase. Saisho ni te oku. Ore wa kanari. Tsuyoi! Oh yeah, you also get two holding things hands! With those hands, you can let Xeranos hold the Denimic Buster. This BFG is actually Xeranos' BFF. The Imagin Deneb can actually turn into a giant Gatling gun when Xeranos transforms into Zero Form. You can even see Deneb's face. Denebu! Like liner form, the hands are an absolute bitch to get into any weapon handle. But once you do, Xeranos looks absolutely badass. Just look at him. Man. I wonder if he's compensating for something. Hmm. In addition to the gun, you also get parts of the Zero Gasher. Here's the handle, and you also get two blades. A bigger one for actual usage, and a smaller one meant for storage, though you can store both. All these parts plug into the pegs found on the holsters, so it's actually really easy to put in. Though once you put the bigger blade on the belt, it looks kind of awkward. To put the Zero Gasher in Saber Mode, just plug in an additional extension handle, then take the larger blade and plug it in at the bottom. Just make sure the pegs line up with each other. And it's easy as that, though the only problem is that the blades are kind of loose. 
The blade can actually transform into a crossbow. Yes, you can have the Zero Gasher blade turn into gunbow mode. Yup, this is pretty awesome. The Saber mode is kind of okay. The blade suffers from some loose parts left over from the gunbow mode, but it's decent. The hinge at the hand is kind of loose, but it's okay if you point the sword. But it's even worse when you use it in gunbow mode. It just looks so finicky with the right hand. But if you use two hands to hold it in saber mode, it's actually pretty nice. Though I can't get the hands to quite angle it a nice way. When you get both weapons together, you get some epic dual wielding poses. But for some reason, the left hand holds the gun bow even better than the right. I have no idea why. The final accessory you get is a rusty pocket watch. This small item is often paired with Xeranos' rider. With the splayed hand, you're able to get Xeranos to hold the watch. Time for some size comparisons. Here's the 1 to 144 scale high grade Gundam Exia Repair 2. Here's the master grade 1 to 100 scale Gundam Exia. Here's the SIC Kiwami Tamashi Fies. Here's the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Joker. And here's the Final Fantasy VII Play Art Yuffie. Hmm, they're almost in scale. I wonder. And here he is with his PIC, Kamen Rider Denno liner form. All in all, SIC Zerno Zero Form is a pretty amazing SIC figure. For its price, you're getting two figures with a crapload of accessories for each. Though there are some flaws with Zeranos though, especially with his hands. Either the hands can't get around the weapons, it's too hard to get the hands around the handles at all, uh, the hinges in the hands are either too weak, or the weapons are too heavy. In the end, it's just the hands that are just a major problem with it. I'm not even going to complain about the ankles. They're fine, I guess, but it's just the hands. So in the end, I can't really recommend this to anyone who isn't a fan of Deno or Xeranos. But if you are a fan of Xeranos or Deno, this is probably a must pick up for you since you're getting both ultimate forms in one set. The problem is that it's been recently discontinued and it's harder to find it now. Also, it has a high price point of 6,000 yen. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. So until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of Riderfest! Fest. <laughs>